because I want, as I said, I want everything to be perfect. I want to have the right equipment. I want to be everything to be good. And sometimes I can, you know, take a wrong picture. I can make a mistake in even a clothes. <laughs> if you see the first clothes that I made for my mom, when she just did that. <laughs> So I was very hard on myself, but I just learned that time is key. You have to be patient. And I was comparing myself to other businesses that does the kind of same thing as I do. And I was putting pressure on myself because I was like, oh, look at them. They are doing this and that and look at where they are and look at where I am. And I had to realize, girl, you've just been doing this for two years. Calm down. <laughs> you cannot have it figured out. You cannot have... And even if I had loads and loads and loads of um, orders, when would I do it? Because I have another job as well, you know? I have to do, with patience, everything will come on point. This is a French expression. I'm not sure I translated it in the great way. <laughs> in French, we say, tout vient à point à qui c'est attendre, which means everything comes on point to whom can wait or something like that. So for me, it would be be patient and don't be too hard on yourself. I think that's great advice. I think that's something everybody can relate to no matter what stage of your business journey you're in. If you start doing that awful compare thing, no matter how good you are at what you do, how far you've come, if you start looking at what other people are doing or what they're telling you they're doing, because obviously yeah. we can put whatever we want online. Uh -huh. It's just a recipe to feel bad about yourself. And what you said there, and you know, it sounds like you've been quite good at checking yourself and saying, actually, you've only been at this for two years. Why are you comparing yourself to well-established brands who have been doing it for 20? But exactly. if you look at your clothes now and where you are now and all of the kind of effort and momentum that you've put into your brand and look back at the start, look at how far you've come. And I totally agree. I think that's one of the biggest mistakes that any business owner can make is comparing themselves to someone else instead of looking at their own progress. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have to take a step back sometime and even sometimes just count your blessings and see where you've been from and what you've accomplished yet. I don't know if I already said that, but I did a catwalk in Edinburgh so I saw some models wearing my clothes and walking on the catwalk. I was That's very cool. amazed. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Fun, you know, and when I look at, you know, just what I've accomplished in these two years, I can be proud of myself. I won an award. I've been selling a lot of products. I had uh, models wearing my, my clothes. So when I just look back, I'm like, okay, I'm not this bad. <laughs> I've improved in the way. And as you said, the other day I tried on uh, a dress that I made like in my be beginnings and I could see so many mistakes on that dress. But at the moment for me, it was bomb. It was so good. But now when I look at it, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I can see the improvement and it wants me to make me to become even better. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, that is great advice. And thank you so much for um, sharing your story and telling us more about what you did and what, um, what efforts you've put in to grow your business and get it to where it is today, which is super exciting. It sounds like you're doing some really cool stuff and to have um, your pieces in a catwalk show and to actually have your clothes being sold in a shop as well. I think that is pretty amazing progress for two years. So definitely um, pat yourself on the back <laughs> for that. Thank um, you. Where can everybody find you online? So I have my website. You just can tap Neftali Couture. Or if you want the full link, it's www.nephtali. Mm, I don't know how you say that in English. Couture, it's okay. If you just tap Neftali Couture on Google, you will find me. And also, you also can find me on social media on Instagram. You just tap neftali.couture. So it's written N-E-P-H-T-A-L-I dot couture. And you will find me. And I am also on Facebook, on LinkedIn. And I'm about to start YouTube. <laughs> 
Well, I will put all of those links in the show notes as well. Um, but thank you again for joining us. And I will look forward to watching what you get up to with your business in uh, year three. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me. Um, this, is very, this has been very good. And I hope you can help somebody, hopefully. <laughs> thank you.